In this question, in order to find the speed at which the bar should be moved to produce a current of 0.5 amps, we have to take advantage of a concept known as motional EMF, which we have listed here in box 20.3. tells us that if a conducting bar of length L is moving through a magnetic field with a speed V, so that the magnetic field is perpendicular to the bar, then the EMF will be induced in the bar and it is given by this value right here. Let's not forget that EMF is essentially the same thing as a potential difference that will develop across the ends of the bar as it slides through the magnetic field. So it may be helpful to replace this symbol with delta V. It is essentially the same thing except that this delta V is induced rather than produced by a battery. And we can see that this potential difference that's induced is equal to the product of the magnetic field, the length, and the speed of the bar. So let's come over here and write that down. And then, since the question is asking for speed, we could divide both sides of this equation by the quantity BL, so that it cancels out on the right-hand side. And if we come down the page, we can see that Potential difference divided by magnetic field strength times the length is equal to the speed. Now the question does not give us the direct value of delta V. And so we actually have to step back to chapter 17, section 4, where we learned that there was a relationship between delta V resistance and current. It's known as Ohm's law. And we can see that this relationship is that resistance is equal to delta V over I. This is advantageous because we know the value of the resistance as well as the current. So these are known, and therefore we can use them to get delta V. So why don't we solve this equation for delta V? We can multiply both sides by current. Current cancels on the right. We can see that current times resistance is equal to delta V. So this is going to allow us to make a substitution. We're going to take the quantity IR, since it equals delta V, and substitute it into our equation from earlier in the numerator, because that is where delta V resides. So now we have IR divided by BL is equal to the speed. And this is perfect, because we are given all four of these quantities in the question. We have the current, the resistance, the magnetic field, and the length. So let's plug in the known values. So here are the known values plugged in. Luckily, the question gives them all in their standard units of amps, ohms, tesla, and meters. When you punch this into your calculator, you get one meter per second. So this will equal the speed of the bar and the correct answer to the question.